Have you ever changed the toner cartridge in your office copier and wondered, what in the world is even in this thing? And is it dangerous? This video is going to cover four things. We're going to start off with what's actually inside of your toner cartridges. Then we're going to talk about how harmful these chemicals actually are, a few safety precautions that you can take to minimize your risk, and what first aid steps you should follow if you do get exposed to toner dust. As a bonus, stick around to the end of the video because we're going to go over how you can recycle your used cartridges, as well as one way that you can actually make a few dollars off them. All toner cartridges contain a variety of ultra-fine particles and pigments, but the two that people are most worried about are small trace amounts of iron and a chemical called carbon black. To find a full list of all the ingredients in your particular cartridge, you'd have to look up the material safety data sheet for that manufacturer. You can usually find these either in the actual cartridge box or on the manufacturer's website. The printing process involves melting and bonding toner to paper, which releases low levels of volatile organic chemical substances, or VOCs. We already mentioned carbon black, which is the chemical most people are worried about in toner. But even though carbon black is technically classified as a class 2B carcinogen, the International Agency for Research on Cancer states that there isn't enough evidence to prove that it's even harmful to people at all. The primary risk is actually that these ultra-fine particles found in toner dust will irritate your eyes, skin, and respiratory system. For example, if you're exposed to very large quantities of toner dust, the ultra-fine particles can infiltrate your respiratory system and can lead to long-term respiratory problems. Let's move on to a few precautions that you can take to minimize your risk of exposure to toner dust. First of all, make sure you're always printing in a well-ventilated area. Always store your toner cartridges in a safe manner. They can easily be crushed or cracked if stored incorrectly. And if you are going to handle a broken toner cartridge, make sure you're always wearing eye, hand, and respiratory protection. Alternatively, consider calling in a copier service technician to remove the broken cartridge without creating a mess. And finally, Make sure that you're always disposing of and recycling your toner cartridges as per the manufacturer's instructions. Chances are, you'll never be exposed to toner dust, but in the off chance you are, here's what you should do. First, flush your eyes with clean water. Second, clean all traces of toner dust off of your skin with soapy water. Finally, if the toner dust did become airborne, clear the room, wait for the dust to settle, and then use a filtered vacuum to clean it up. Hundreds of millions of toner cartridges are emptied every single year, and we want to prevent as many as possible from ending up in a landfill. In most regions, toner cartridges are not normally accepted in the blue bin recycling program, but they are still recyclable. Each manufacturer has its own toner recycling program, for these, typically what you have to do is print off a prepaid mailing label and then ship the toner cartridge back to the manufacturer. Alternatively, you can make a few dollars by selling your cartridge to a remanufacturer who will clean it, fix it, refill it, and resell it to other consumers. Finally, some charities actually accept toner cartridges as donations. So to sum all this up, Yes, toner does contain the chemical carbon black, but in small quantities, it's not actually harmful. However, toner dust is still an irritant, so you should always use caution when dealing with toner cartridges. And if you are exposed to toner dust, quickly clean up any toner dust that has come in contact with your eyes or with your skin. After watching this video, I hope you're reassured that there really is no significant health risk to dealing with toner cartridges. And if you have other questions like this one that you want us to answer in future videos, let us know in the comments below. Or, if you wanted the answer to another question right now, we've already answered, what's the difference between an inkjet and a laserjet printer? You can find the link to that video in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.